What's going on guys, it's your boy Fano here, and in this CSGO video, I'm going to share with you guys 5 of the most overpriced skins in CSGO. All of the skins in this video are just insanely expensive, and it's not just because of their design, so let's get right into this video. The first skin I want to share with you guys, obviously, is going to be the Glock 18 Fade. This skin is from the Assault Collection, and it really is just a gradient of two colors, purple and yellow. Look at my awesome fade, guys. Jokes aside, guys, this skin was added on August 14th of 2013 as part of the Arms Deal update, the first CSGO skin update, and it really is the first Glock 18 skin, one of the first, of course, and it only comes in two conditions, factory new and minimal wear, and of course, minimal wear being a very rare one, so it's very uncommon to get it in minimal wear, but the thing that really makes it so special is not that it only has three colors, in it or not that it's just so old and rare there are different degrees of fade so like you can have more fade than others it really depends on the transitions of the fade and where the colors actually change so obviously more purple means there's a higher fade and less purple on the skin means there is a less fade on the skin and of course some patterns are rarer than others but I digress guys because this skin in factory new condition costs a whopping $643 currently on the steam market and uh, there's no recent price for the minimal wear so you can see how expensive the skin is. Everybody wants the skin, but at the end of the day, it's only a Glock 18 skin. How often are you actually going to be using it? Okay, pistol rounds, I guess, but nonetheless, it's so expensive for a skin that you're really rarely going to use, like only twice a game. Its price has gone up over the years. When it first came out, you could have got one for like around $10 to $12, but of course, at the time, I thought that was a lot of money to be investing in virtual pixels, and I know that I am not the only one who regrets not investing in this skin back in 2013 when it was only going for $10. Moving on to the next skin, we have an AK-47 Fire Serpent. This covert AK-47 skin is from the Notorious Operation Bravo case. It was added on September 19th of 2013 as part of the Operation Bravo update. It was created by Valve, and its description reads that this memento from Ruins has been painted with a Fire Serpent motif. Emphasis on the motif. Now, the reason I think this skin is so overpriced, and I know I'm not the only one, is the fact that a lot of people have been bashing the skin over the years saying it doesn't deserve to be covert, it doesn't have that great of an art design, it's pretty lame, there are nicer, cheaper alternatives, and I mean, of course, the list goes on, and uh, you can get a factory new one for a whopping $1,100 on the Steam market, and of course, Battle Scarred at around $200. Nonetheless, it's still a very expensive skin for an art design that is very suspicious. Pretty much any online forum that I visit, whether it be Reddit or the Steam discussions, regarding the AK-47 Fire Serpent, I always find at least one or two people arguing whether or not it really deserves its price, whether or not it really has a good design. Here are just some really funny examples that I found, and it, yeah, I mean, it is a very controversial skin. You either love it or you don't. I mean, there's no middle room. The price just isn't there to support neutrals, guys, and it really is a one or the other skin. This guy actually had some pretty decent arguments as to why it is a good skin and why it deserves to be so expensive. I mean, obviously, the Bravo case is just such an old case, insanely rare to drop. The AK-47 Fire Serpent was actually the first first covert skin in CSGO for an operation. Of course, along with the golden potato, but who really cares about that? And on top of the covert rarity, this skin is just so expensive because a good percentage of them were locked up in ghost accounts that got banned from money laundering or gambling. I'm gonna open it up to you guys. What do you guys think of the Fire Serpent? Are you guys yay or nay? However, next up we have the M4A1S Knight. This skin right here is from the Cobblestone Collection. It is the only classified skin in the collection, and it was primarily sacrificed for the AWP Dragon Lore via the trade-up contract. I'm not gonna lie guys, it has a pretty simplistic design and the colors are not that amazing. There was a period when I actually really liked the knight and I wanted to own one myself and I thought it looked really good, but over the last couple of years, the price has just spiraled out of control. It only comes in two conditions, factory new and minimal wear, and they are both going for over $800 on the Steam community market. You know something is wrong when the souvenir version of the CSGO skin is going for less than the normal skin. Either way, guys, this skin is just so expensive, and it doesn't deserve its price, in my opinion. Next up on my list is the AUG Akihabara Accept. This lovely skin right here is from the Rising Sun Collection. You know, that Smexy collection with the evergreen hydroponic, Heavenly Daybreak, and of course, your Sunset Storm Desert Eagles. Valve had to appease the anime lovers of the community, so they decided to put a covert skin in that collection that resembles an anime 
magazine cover with Japanese text over it. Now you can say all you want about this skin whether you like it or not, but this skin, in factory new condition especially, is currently going for a whopping 2000 plus dollars. That's over a thousand CSGO keys. It is just so rare to get in factory new condition, and that is the only reason why it's so expensive. The design is very questionable, obviously, you either like it or you don't. And I'm not going to say it's bad or good, so I'm going to leave that up to you guys. But it was added to the game on May 26th of 2015. It was created by Valve, and I did some research, and this yada exclamation point, I believe it stands for we did it. So I'm not entirely sure what they did. So if you know a little bit more backstory on this skin, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm not entirely sure what they did, but this skin shows wear pretty easily. So in minimal wear and factory new condition, it's the most expensive because it has the fewest scratches. Anything below minimal wear, you're gonna get a lot of scratches that really take away from the artistic design, if you will. I managed to find a Reddit post that had some translations for this skin, because it is covered with Japanese characters on it, so I'm not entirely sure if it really is what it says, so if you guys want to verify, please let me know in the comment section below. I wasn't quite sure if this guy was just memeing or not, because a thousand yen that's written on the skin does not translate to 0 0.79 cents. It actually is around $10, so I'm taking this this translation with a grain of salt. Nonetheless, we're going to move on to the next skin, which is a souvenir AWP pink DD pad. And in particular, we're going to be focusing on the factory new souvenir version of this skin, which is just ridiculously overpriced because it is just so rare to get in factory new condition. Its float ranges from 0.06 to 0.07, so it has a very small chance of landing on factory new when you unbox this skin from a package. The last one that was sold on the Steam market was on November of 2019 and it sold for a whopping $573. To put that in perspective, a normal minimal wear version of the skin costs $22, a factory new normal version of the skin costs $64, and a souvenir minimal wear version of this skin costs only $74. And the minimal wear version of this skin looks just as good as the factory new version, and you can get it for around one tenth of the price of the factory new souvenir. Roughly 25 are known to exist on CSGO Exchange in factory new souvenir condition, so it goes without saying that the only reason the skin is so overpriced is because of its rarity and nothing else. Personally, I think it's just way too much money for only a restricted CSGO skin, and just because it's souvenir, that doesn't really matter too much to me so I'm not going to be spending 500 plus dollars on this skin even if I call myself a collector. But that just about does it for this video guys, like and subscribe as always for future CSGO videos, so until next time, this is Fano, signing out.